The third process of the build acquire and implement domain is called, manage solutions identification and build. The process identifier is BAI3. The process focuses on maintaining the identified solutions in line with the enterprise requirements, including their design, procurement, or development. The configuration, testing, requirements management, applications, and infrastructure should be accordingly managed. The purpose of the process is to establish timely and cost-effective solutions that satisfy the enterprise needs. The process supports one IT-related goal which is to ensure that the delivery of IT services is aligned with the business requirements. The achievement of this goal is measured by the number of business disruptions due to IT service incidents, and by the percent of users satisfied with the quality of the IT services. The process has five process goals. The first goal is to ensure that the solution design meets the enterprise needs, and its achievement is measured by the number of solutions with rework designs due to not properly aligning with the enterprise requirements. The second goal is to ensure that the solution conforms to the design and has appropriate controls, and its achievement is measured by the number of deviations from the design. The third goal is to ensure that the quality of the solution is accepted and that it has been successfully tested, and its achievement is measured by the number of errors found during the testing. The fourth goal is to ensure that the approved requirements changes are incorporated into the solution, and its achievement is measured by the number of changes that generate errors. The fifth and last process goal is to ensure that the maintenance activities address the business needs, and its achievement is measured by the number of unsatisfied maintenance demands. The process has 11 practices, and the first practice is to design high-level solutions. The entities that are responsible for this practice are the business process owners and the project management office. The entity that is held accountable is the head of IT development. The practice receives several inputs that include, the architecture principles from the AP03 process, the evaluation of innovation ideas from the AP04 process, and the high-level development and acquisition plan from the BAI2 process. It generates one output which is the approved high-level design specification to be used by the BAI4 and 5 processes. The activities involved in this practice include, establishing a high-level design specification that shows how the solution affects the business processes, the services, and the infrastructure. Qualified and skilled IT personnel and business users should be involved in the design stage, to optimize the IT capabilities serving the business needs. According to the enterprise's design standards, a design should be created showing enough details covering the business and IT strategies, the enterprise architecture, and the applicable laws and regulations. Having passed the quality assurance, the final high-level design should be submitted to the relevant stakeholders for approval.